Hello, I'm Jonathan Knutson, and today I'm going to show you how to create your own application using the Java ME SDK. Choose File, New Project from the menu, or you can click on the New Project icon in the toolbar. The kind of project we want to create is a MIDP application. Type in a name for your application, and uncheck the Create Hello Midlet checkbox. Later on, we'll create our own midlet. Click Finish. The Java ME SDK creates an empty project for you. The application is going to use the Bluet User Interface Toolkit, and so we need to add that to the project. Control click on Resources, choose Add Library, select Bluet from the list and click Add Library. And if you go expand the resources, you can see that Lewitt is now part of our project. The next thing to do is to create a midlet class, which is the code that actually makes up our application. Control click on Source Packages and choose New Midlet. Here we need to fill in a human readable name for the midlet, a class name, and the package where the class will live. The Java ME SDK creates the source file for us and fills in a trivial midlet implementation. Uh, this will build, but it doesn't do anything. So we're going to add some code so that you can see something on the screen. First, we're going to import the Lewitt APIs. And then in Start App, we're going to initialize Lewitt create a simple form and show that form on the screen. The next step of course is to build this and run it, uh, but before we do that I want to show you how to enable the output window so that you can see what's going on as the project is building. So from the window menu you choose output and then output again or you can use the keyboard shortcut F4. Now to build this midlet, build this project, and package it up and run it in the emulator, all you need to do is press on the Run button, or you can use the keyboard shortcut F6. The application shows up in this clamshell feature phone emulator. Uh, you can probably see the whole thing on your screen. And you can see here's our simple form title on the screen. So that's great. I would like to run this on a different emulator, so I'm going to control click on the project and choose properties. And in the platform pane here, there's a device combo box, and you can choose different devices to run on uh, using the emulator. So I'm going to choose default CLDC MSA Phone 1. Say OK, and run this thing again. This time it shows up in the emulator we selected, which you can see has a, a larger screen. But still, our code that we wrote is running on the screen here, and the simple form title is there. This example is not too exciting, so I'm going to replace this midlet with the sample code from the Java ME SDK Getting Started article, which you can find online, and then I'll just to run this again. It compiles, it packages, it runs in the emulator. This example shows off some of Lewitt's capabilities, really only the tip of the iceberg. You can see we've added some color and uh, right here there's a menu of options that demonstrate Lewitt's animated transitions. I'm going to use my arrow keys to navigate through this menu and the enter key to simulate the select button. So that shows a slide transition. To go back to the menu, I'm going to press this soft button here, but I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut. So the shortcut for this button is F1, the shortcut for this one is F2. So I'm going to press F1 to go back to the menu, and then I'll just show you fade transition, the cube, and the rotate. So there you have it. Uh, you now know how to 
create your own project using the Java ME SDK and how to run it in the emulator. For more information, check out the other videos available online and the Java ME SDK Getting Started document.